Hello everybody, it's me, Janet Page, or Hunter Lodge Stables, back with another video. And this is going to be my haul from the Calculin Pony Swap Meet on February 25th of this year. And I get some pretty cool stuff, so I think we'll start with the uh, uh, non-model horse stuff and... Um, there is something I got for him for free that'll all show, show first. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into this. So, I'll start with the thing I got for free first. I got this little bar here. You can see I've actually put the three little barrels in the little trough in there so I don't lose them. Uh, and this actually does have working barn doors that actually open and close, although this one on the end here is a bit stubborn one. You really have to kind of pry that one open, and it's not so hard to close, but a little tricky to open. So it's a cute little button. Get little doors on the side here, and these actually do open, as does the little one over here. So... Uh, if I can get open, come on. Uh, I think we had to go through this side door here. Maybe. Uh, uh, there's a back window here. There we go. So these doors are all functional, and you can see in there I got the uh, the barrels and the little trough there, and this actually was brand new in the packaging. Uh, <laughs> it came with one of the horses, which I can't seem to find at the moment, but uh it came with the uh like liver chestnut pinto at draft horse as well as uh this gorel here. And it also came with um this you know staple mates jump here too. So yeah, so that's a really cool little set. I've actually been eyeing this particular little uh, barn on Briar's website, but since I got it for free, I no longer have to buy it. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is the uh, non-model horse stuff. This um, Halloween wreath I actually got, it does light up and got a cool little dangly spider there. It's got a couple of other spiders too. Not as easily noticeable. We've got one down there. One down there. And I think that's... Nope. There's one more hiding up here. Kind of hiding amongst the lights and fabric. But this uh, Halloween wreath was... Uh, I got this from Aaron Cole. <laughs> Um, from Region 10, for those of you outside of the region, but her wreaths are incredible. I would highly recommend her, and I am so glad that I traded a model horse for this, because this is an awesome wreath. I, I can't wait to put it up on my door. Um, so then I also got these here, some different older model horse publications for free as well. So this is the Hobby Horse News, so I got four issues of that. And uh, this I got one, two, three, four. So I got six issues of this one. This one is uh, the Model Horse Gazette. And funny enough, this one actually came out around the time that uh, I was born. Year and month. Having this, I feel kind of old. <laughs> I'll be, uh, well, 29 this month. Yeah, I feel old. <laughs> now I got all these here. These are all uh, just in general Model Horse Gazette. So I don't know if there's a difference between Model Horse Gazette and the Model Horse Gazette, but... I got a whole mess of these ones. Let's see, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So I get nine of Model Horse Gazette. And I got one, two, three, three, four, five, six of the Model Horse Gazette. And I have these four issues of the Hobby Horse News. So can't wait to crack into those and actually start reading those. So I also got um this. I just didn't have it over here with the uh, magazines, but uh, it says five dollars. I actually didn't pay for this. I I actually picked this up off of the free table as Dad and I were leaving the swap meet, so I thought it looked good. And uh, I like thoroughbred horses. I like fiction. I like books about horses and. Yes, as someone who is also a furry, I could not pass up this awesome cover art. This this is just awesome. I do not know who did this art, but major props to them because this is really, really cool. The way the horse is, he's got his little office thing. He's taping on a computer with a mouse and stab a cup of coffee. He's got a cup of molasses. So I I can definitely appreciate that and... He's eating a carrot while on the job. Hmm. Kind of familiar to me. I myself usually have to take a working lunch, too. So, <laughs> I can imagine how he feels. <laughs> and this I also got for, um, for free from the free table. This is a 2023 20, planner. So, there's like little spots to... Write in different little things that you have going on and whatnot during the year, so this is going to be really helpful to me, keeping track of what I do during the year. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, and I got this pony pouch. Uh, this was actually bought from uh, Robin Briscoe, actually, a friend of mine. And it's actually really nice. It's got a little uh, spot right at the top here. A little spot where I can stick a horse's tag for sure. And it is lined on the inside with like a soft fleece material. So this is actually really, really nice. Really soft material on the inside. So. That's really nice. I actually bought this with one of the horses I got this swap meet mine. You'll see her in a little bit. And then I picked up these. These are in the non-model section because, well, they're models. They're not exactly models. They're ornaments. So here's the box that this girl came in. This is the 2005 um, Beautiful Breed series. Saddlebrit ornament. This is the third one in the Beautiful Breed series, which I don't think I'm going to get them all, but I definitely want to get the ones that are breeds I like. And uh, let's see if I can get it to show you. The package is a little bit yellow, so it's not really doing her color justice. She's actually really pretty in person. Uh, let's see if I can get the top of this off. Uh, there, there you go. There's, there's a better uh, visual of her. So she's really pretty. She's actually crafted of fine porcelain as compared to some newer ones. She is stamped with 2005 on her belly, which I think is adorable. And uh, let me see if I can give you guys a better view of her. Kind of just hang in. There she is. She's really pretty, and I like the little blue scarf on her neck, too. I think it goes all the way around. Yeah, it does, so. So, yeah. I'm really happy to add her to my, my ornament collection, because I don't have any of the older ones. And I, I just really like her, so it was natural that I wanted to get her, and I got her very, um... A pretty good price, too, for being still pristine in her uh, packaging. 
in the box here. I got her for only uh, $15. Uh, this one I actually got for $10. I'm not sure what year this is from, but this is the uh, Belgian Beautiful Brains ornament. And this guy is the 20th in the series. So, and I don't have him out of his box yet because it's going to be a little bit tricky to get him out. But around Christmas time, if you guys are interested, I can maybe try and pull together a, um, a little video of my uh, Briar horse ornaments if that's something you all would be interested in because I always struggle with what to post around Christmas time so I could do a, a uh, ornament um, collection tour if you'd be interested <clears throat> so then over here we have um, some well, actually, this is about all the models that got at the swap meet. Well, I got one. I have him in this video because he kind of counts. He came the day before. This is my Bolero model. And he is really nice. He's stamped like all of them are. Uh, he's actually really pretty. This, this is one of the better copies I've seen. He doesn't have any goobers. No flaws. He is definitely what I would call LSQ. No black dots, no overspray, nothing. His his eyes are like perfect. This is probably the uh, best paint job I've seen on a briar horse recently. So yep, that's him. And uh, if you're wondering which horse the, uh, the pouch was about to go with, the pouch is actually bought to go with this girl here, Nevermore, my newest Halloween horse in my Halloween horse collection. I've really been looking for this one because I love Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven, which her markings are based on. And just, wow, is that, she, she's incredible. She's got a tiny little something there not sure if that's a flaw or if it's dust but uh i feel like i got a pretty good deal on her it says on her belly nevermore 2018 so i actually got this girl for i feel like a very reasonable price uh the box was in rough shape because uh, <laughs> the person um who my dad bought this for me from yeah, their, their cat, I don't think, likes boxes too much. It totally ate one of the corners of the box, but she's fine. So I actually got her for only $200, which I feel like is a bargain of a price, considering I've been seeing her sell for. So another model for my Halloween Conga slash collection. Now this is another one for an actual Conga here. This is Prism. I don't know if he's stamped on the bottom. No, he's not, which I'm surprised because I think this guy was a limited edition. But yeah, this guy's really pretty. And this guy is actually another one that I feel like I got a pretty decent deal on, actually. Because this guy also sold for a lot. Because he's got that little tiny goober right there. Um, this guy, I've seen him sell for like $200 or more. I got him for only 150 and I feel like that was a pretty good deal. The person who originally bought him, actually bought him with that flaw and bought him for $200, so I got him for half price, and, uh, I saw this actually up. In the Region 10 group, or I forget what group it was, that they had this guy and they'd be willing to deliver uh, to the swap meet. So they weren't going, but they were able to pass it off to my friend Amanda Reed, who was going. And uh, she was able to bring him to me. And Dad just sent the girl payment via PayPal. So 
That was really, really nice. My, I've kind of started taking a liking to some of Briar's animals. So I picked up this cougar here. Really cute. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a cougar or a lioness. I guess it could really be either, but it's really pretty. It's got nice shading from the white on the belly to the dark on its upper body. The, uh, the eyes and the face are just really nice. So, it's even got the paw pads. The paw pad on that one is painted. Uh, these other ones are not. I kind of wish they had been, but that's a cute little detail. So, yep. Picked this guy up for only $20 at the swap meet. Really happy about that. Uh, this guy, I put him over here because he's actually a model horse. But I actually got him for free along with the, the magazines, the book there, the planner, and... Uh, the barn over there so that's why he's over here because he's actually a model horse i have no idea who the artist is though but this custom is really nice he's only signed g on one of his feet so i have no idea who that actually is i don't even know if this is a an actual briar because it doesn't seem to have any briar stamps on it or, or anything that I can find unless the artist sanded the logo off but if anyone could tell me if this is actually a custom briar or not or or if you could tell me what brand this particular model horse is I would really appreciate it and uh, because I'd like to know for for my records but he is beautiful and I don't really collect a lot of customs but i just love his color he's just gorgeous and he's not really in bad shape either he's got like maybe a little couple of goobers and the uh the black areas of his legs and whatnot kind of hard to see though really so yeah i think i'm gonna take a crack at showing this guy at some point just gotta find a good breed for him because he is just adorable and uh, this one I'm excited about because, long story short, my high school's colors were green and gold. I had gotten one of these, um, the year they were available for Black Friday, and I got the green one. Uh, the next year, my dad got me another one, I got the blue one. I really wanted green and gold because they were my high school's colors, so... I am so glad that I was finally able to trade the uh, the blue zebra for this beautiful gold one because now I actually have my high school's colors and he is absolutely flawless, beautiful, no overspraying on any of the stripes or mane. Oh, this guy's just gorgeous and per usual. He is stamped on his belly with the um uh, <clears throat> the year and his name Christmas Candy 2019. So that's him. And then I couldn't help but come away with another um, Peter Stone ish for my collection. And this one is um let me see his name is Old Choco Dreamer. Windswept from 2006, painted by Lynn Norbury. The, the number on the tag is um, wrong, though, because if you turn him over, he is actually number 156 out of 200. And there's the signature of the artist, 2006, and I'm assuming that's the artist's little insignia. But... <clears throat> Yeah, I actually traded this guy, traded for this guy, and I am so glad I did. I traded a um, a, a really nice um model on the uh, the silver mold for this guy, but I just love this guy even more. So 
So he's absolutely perfect. I already have a breed in mind for him. I just don't have a name, but it's going to be something to do with dreaming. As a nod to his, uh, his name being Ochoko Dreamer Windswept. So it's going to be something to do with dreaming. Like, I don't know, maybe just a dream. Only a dream. Your wildest dream. Something like that. I haven't completely decided yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got at the, uh, the swap meet. Plus my model of Bolero that literally came the day before the swap meet. So that's why he's here. I was going to do an unboxing video, but I got a little impatiently excited and I just had to open him. So so yeah, uh, that's everything I got this swap meet uh, in Bolero. And uh, this is Brianna Page, a.k.a. Underline Staples, out until next time. Bye!